Okay, we have a sim robo decay simulation here to simulate uh, automation line. So the purpose of having this uh, robo decay simulation is to prove the concept to see whether the concept is it practical in real life or not. At the same time, we want to see whether is it any hidden problem or issues that we couldn't see. So we can resolve it before we actually build up a line. With that, with the robot, de with the assist of robot DK, we can save a lot of time and cost for our user. The first station we have here is the auto cutting station. So we have a HMI for the user to start the program, and then we also have a Kukaskara to do the to process the cutting process. At the same time, during the process, we have two Festo actuator to hold the box to prevent the box being moved by the uh, by the Kukaskara because the cutting is the contact application so it will shift the boxes anyway that's why we have uh, two actuators to protect it to prevent it being moved by the robot itself so after the cutting is being completed it will shift the boxes to the end of the conveyor and then we wait for the castle robot to come in and depalletize it yeah. so once the cutting process is complete the auto cutting station will send it will request the castle robot to come and depalletize the bottles to the U-shaped conveyors. As you can see, our castle robot can go into a very narrow place. And this is the beauty of 7-axis robots. So, after these bottles being depalletized to the U-shaped conveyors, it will move to the, to the end of the U-shaped conveyor and wait for this uh, castle robot to palletize it to the small boxes, which is a repackaging process from a big box to a small box. Yeah, so basically, after the depalletizing, the castle robot is going to perform a palletizing from the U-shape to the small box. So after the palletizing process is being complete, these boxes will move to this area, which is a under the black box, to going through a inspections, a camera inspection, to check whether is it any missing bottle inside. Okay, so once the inspection is complete, everything is complete, it will go through a folding process. So the box will fold all the things, all the leads itself, and go through the sealing process here. So after the sealing process, our castle robot will do the you process the palletizing process. So we pick these boxes and then put into our inventory pallets, and the whole process is being complete. The last station we have here is a EMA with cobalt stations. So we have a Castle H series, which is without the controller boxes. All the controllers is embedded underneath the joint one. So it's very compact and very su suitable for the EMA applications. Beside that, we also have a boxing EMA together with a third banner cameras. So the purpose we having this camera is to scan the code, the QR code to detect the offset of the AMR so that we can do the compensation when we do the picking and do the placing for the boxes into the pigeon hole. So this whole station is basically um, triggered by the customer orders. So we have another uh, control system which is triggering by the customers. Yeah. So this is the control system that I mentioned just now, One Meta. It's a control system that provided two-way real-time communication between the automation equipments and the IT system like ERP, WMS. So, just now, as you can see the AMR stations, right? We, it's triggering by the one meta, right? The customer can send in the request for how many boxes and which location you want to locate it and the AMR will go to that particular location and then place the goods or products to that particular position. Beside that, as you can see on the boards here, cutting, U-ship conveyor and the buffer conveyor inspections and also the palletizing just now, they're also sending all the information to our one meta system so that we can monitor it with one dashboard. All the information will be completely inside the one meta system. So you can easily have all the information, what is the status of the, the home line station. So you don't need to worry, like you need to purposely go to each of the station to do the monitoring or checking. So based on one board, you can have all the informations. Thank you.